everyone. This is Gene Trowbridge with the Trowbridge Law Group here for our Tuesday uh, Facebook post. Glad you could be with us. Today I'm going to talk about something that uh, has come up um, too often that I'm really worried about. And it's all for sponsors. Uh, uh, that's generally who I'm talking about to in this case. And it's whether you're working with people who are going to be determined to be unregistered broker dealers. So we don't want the sponsor to work with people like that and put people in that situation. So we've got to find out what is a unregistered broker dealer and what could be the uh, the penalties and the liability of putting in a person in that uh, in that particular uh, position. So. Um, Really what the question is, is are you acting for a sponsor as an unregistered broker dealer? Remember, you are if you're selling securities of someone else, okay? You are if you're accepting compensation to sell a security. In either of those cases, you would need to be licensed as a securities representative to be doing it, doing it legal. The securities laws, when they were written back in the 1930s, this, the second law was to protect the public from fraudulent people who are selling securities. Uh, and their standard of how to solve that was to create a licensing program. So every security salesman who is selling a security of someone else is, has to be licensed and there's no compensation unless you're licensed. The technical term is there can no be there cannot be any uh, transaction-based compensation if you have a license. So if you find yourself either suggesting to a sponsor that you'll sell their securities, or they want you to sell their securities, and probably they're going to pay you a little bit if you could bring in some investors, you're all putting yourself in a position of being an un registered uh, broker dealer. It, this picture, which you may have seen before, is my picture of the LLC structure where we have the investment. This is where the property is owned. We have all the investors going to uh, buy interest in that. And we have the manager LLC. Now the manager LLC is generally housing all the people who can raise money just like in the real estate industry, there's a for sale by owner uh, exemption. You can sell your own real estate without a license. In the securities industry, there's the same thing right inside the manager. It's called the issuer exemption. If you have an important role, which is a vague term, but an important role inside the manager, not just raising money, you qualify for the issuer exemption and then you can raise you can raise money from people who invest in your deal but if you're not inside of there and you don't have an important role you're probably going to fit into what i call an enhancer position and one of the ways you can enhance an offering is to do money raising and the question is does the enhancer and in this case, a money raiser, have to be a member of the manager? And the answer is yes and no. If the money raiser has a securities license, they can raise money because that's their job, they're licensed, and sell someone else's securities. If the money raiser doesn't have a securities license, the only way they can do that legally is to be up inside the manager with an important job more than just raising money, like a job of uh, investor relations or whatever it is, it would be an important position and money raising comes along with it. Everyone inside of here, all the officers can raise money under the issuer exemption. But if you're not part of this and you're gonna raise money for someone, you better have a license, better have a license. If you are determined to be an unregistered broker dealer, what can happen? You can become liable for the penalties, penalties levied by the SEC or the state securities regulators. Uh, the SEC will 
assess you financial penalties if you're found to be an unregistered broker dealer. And the states can do the same thing if you are an unregistered broker dealer and you sell uh, an investor in the state of Kansas, something. We'll have to find out what Kansas's uh, penalties are, but you have federal and state penalties to deal with. You could be subject to a cease and uh, desist order from the SEC. They'll come and slap you with that order, and then you're going to have to hire an attorney to get out of that, and that's a problem. Remember, the securities laws are criminal statutes. You don't want to mess with the securities laws. You could be subject to a rescission action from the investor. The investor could say, Gene, you sold me this deal. You don't have a securities license. You're not a member of the manager. The deal, deal just went to hell and I lost my $100,000. I'm going to come to you because as an unregistered broker dealer, you sold me that. I want my $100,000 back and possibly uh, some stated interest rate. Each state has their own rules about uh, rescission. And, you know, Gene only got a hundred bucks for selling this in uh, some, uh, some shares in your deal. And no one told Gene that if he went out and acted as an unregistered broker dealer, the penalties could be severe, including an action for rescission. Then you could be subject to a temporary or even a permanent injunction, limited your ability to ever be involved in a securities offering again in the future. You wouldn't want that. And the last thing they can do, you could be subject to criminal penalties enforced at the state, at the state level. Maybe the, the SEC doesn't want to go after you, but maybe the state does. So you don't want to be selling someone else's securities and you don't want to get paid for selling someone else's securities you can't you can't you just you really i think i've got some legal advice here yeah there we do don't do this now why is this important because this is rampant out there there are all sorts of sponsors who are enlisting people who say you know Gene, I could raise $500,000 for your deal. Is that okay? Will you pay me 10% on what, uh, what I do? And uh, if it's not done right, we've got an unregistered broker dealer issue. Doing it wrong would be me just taking my people into the deal and introducing them to you or selling the deal. And then they become an investor in your fund and you um, pay me a commission. Doing it right would be me putting together an offering of my own investors, my own PPM, my own operating agreement, and coming to you and say, we, I have a fund and we'd like to invest $500,000 in your deal. So there are ways to do it right and there are ways to do it wrong, but whatever it is, don't sell someone else's security and don't accept payment for selling someone else's uh, security. So that's it for this uh, Facebook post. It's all about don't become deemed an unregistered broker dealer. We now know how that might happen. We've looked at what the penalties might be. They're not worth it. So don't do that. Now, what I'd like you to do is if you, if you want to, if you have some other questions that you might want us to discuss on our Facebook posts, let us know. You can just simply send me an email, gene at trowbridgelawgroup.com, or you can, can call us at our general number, 951-570-1507, or you call me directly at 949-855-83. Nine, nine. So that's it for uh, TLG's a Facebook post for this Tuesday. I'm Gene Trobert saying goodbye.